Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm trying to find the cheapest buffet in Las Vegas. So, looked around, there's this place called Kieran. I phoned them and I asked them, I said, hey, how much is your buffet right now? The lady said, $8.99. Did she make a mistake? I don't know, but let's go check it out. I'm over here at the bus stop, waiting for the bus because after all, this is a cheap video. I'm not gonna go Ubering and getting a limo. Not that I could afford the limo anyway. But anyway, the buffet. Let's hope it's $8.99 or less. Well guys, it doesn't look horrible. It's pretty okay looking actually. If they told me it was $15.99, I would believe it. But let's go in and see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, how nice. One, please. Okay, so they did charge me tax. So I gave her a $10 bill and the change was 26 cents. Still pretty cheap. Now let's go check out the buffet line. Well, it's not the largest buffet, but let's check out the food. Starting here at the uh, salad station, we got some salads and some shrimp over here all right here we have some hard-boiled eggs uh, I'm not sure what this is but they don't have labels guys so uh, yeah we got some salad stuff edamame spinach uh, coming around, we got some sauces. Okay. Oh, wow, guys, this jello looks good. I'm a sucker for jello. Good jello, we got green jello, red jello, pudding. We got uh, mayonnaise, fruit maybe, and some wasabi. Now we have. A seafood combo, mussels, tofu with something, uh, the fake crab meat, a whole bunch of it. Uh, I might try that. Ah, oh, fried pieces of flounder. Okay. And this may be uh, slices of eggplant. I'm not sure. Again, there is no labeling, which is fine. We have here white rice, fried rice. Oh, this uh, lo mein noodles looking pretty good, guys. Singapore my fun or just my fun. Just bean sprouts with uh, nothing else really. And this looks like uh, eggplant something, which I, I will definitely gotta try that. Looks good. Now we have uh, pork. Okay, sometimes there's labeling. Pork. Uh, pork chops. Couple of pieces of chicken. We got here uh, more chicken. Orange chicken. We have here a salt and pepper chicken. It's a chicken place. Okay, so now over here we have a teriyaki chicken. I'm not sure what this is, guys. Ooh, beef and broccoli. Beef and broccoli is looking nice. We got over here these egg tarts. I'm not sure what that is over there. And then we got some corn. All right, corn, guys. See, here we have 
uh, a steamer. Oh, some miniature uh, leaf wrap things and some of those things. Okay. Um, pizza. Mm, some fried stuff. I, I'm guessing those are chicken nuggets. And coming around, we have some bread, corn on the cob, shrimp in a liquid. Oh, the hot and sour soup looks good. This is an egg drop soup, I'm guessing, but I don't know why it's orange. And wonton soup. Let me see. They do have an adequate amount of seating. Oh look, a uh, custard machine or ice cream machine. With uh, fried noodles next to the cones. We have here lemon, orange, uh, melon, apple slices, canned pineapple, little pieces of mandarin orange. All right. So we have here some cakes. Uh, more cakes. Cakes. I believe these are almond cookies. And fortune cookies. And now they have some sushi available. Okay. Sushi, sushi. Sushi, sushi. Okay. And sushi. All right, let's eat. All right, guys, so for round one, I got some of their hot and sour soup. Got some of their sushi over here. Then over here, we have um, fried rice, uh, their fish and tofu thing, rice noodles, and their beef and broccoli, salt and pepper chicken, their thing that is a leaf that's tied with a string, some lo mein and what looks like eggplants. So let's give all this a try. Thanks a lot. All right. So let's give this food a try, guys. It doesn't look bad. Okay, salt and pepper chicken. Quite good. Uh, these are lo mein. Well, that's a little soggy. Ah. All right, the beef and broccoli. Right. Here's the beef. Hmm. It's okay. Now the broccoli. Okay, now this eggplant thing. Hmm, not bad. I'm gonna save this thing for later. Uh, I'm gonna have to unravel it. Okay, now let me try their fried rice. The fried rice has been out a little while. I can taste that it's a little dried out. But then again, it is 3 o'clock. I'm sure if I would have gotten here at the uh, lunch hour, then 
when there's more people, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now the these the rice noodles. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. Uh, fish and tofu. Pretty good. All right. Now let me try the hot and sour soup. Wow, it's sugary. Mm. I'm not used to hot and sour soup being sugary. But so let's try the um, sushi over here. Gotta mix myself up some wasabi over here. So this thing It's okay Need some more wasabi and soy sauce Okay, so next, this one here. I think that one had a piece of fruit in it or something. Hmm. Okay, now this one. I don't know what's in there, it looks like chicken? I think it might have been chicken. Ah. Now, this thing, which I believe has some cream cheese in it, I didn't notice that earlier. Hmm. has some crunch to it now the final thing this thing here oh, you untie this thing jeez it's harder to eat than those blue crabs here we go here we go I got it I got it all right Okay, this is what's in it, guys. Let's give it a try. But first, I must uh, wipe my hands. Okay, I wonder what's inside. All right, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> it's like a dessert item red bean and rice interesting hmm 
All right, well that concludes uh, round one. Let's see what we got going for round two. All right guys, for round two, I have here some more of their sushi. And they actually uh, refilled the fried rice, so I got some of that. More of their salt and pepper chicken. And this, uh, I don't know what this was, but the guy just like, we just put it there. So, I don't know, but we'll give it a try. All right guys, the fried rice. Let's see how it is, fresh out. Hmm. It's pretty good. It reminds me of that teppanyaki fried rice. Mm -hmm. All right, salt and pepper chicken. Okay, same as before. Now this is a mystery thing. What is it guys? I don't know. I still don't know. I think it's some kind of meat. My guess is there's some kind of uh, Sauté pork. Hmm. Okay. Now some of their <clears throat> some of their sushi here. Now they didn't have sauce plates, so what I do is that I pour the soy sauce under the corner of the plate. Alright, round three coming right up. Okay guys, this is my last plate. I'm actually quite full. Got some of their shrimp and they refilled the lo mein, so let's check that out. And of course the jello. Yummy! Let's eat. Okay, so first the lo mein. Let's see if it improved. It's a little better. A little bit better. It's hot. Hmm. Okay, let's try the green jello. Mm. 
Wow. They, uh, they didn't skimp on it. They really like a lot of flavor in that one. So the red jello. The red one is better than the green one. All right, check out the shrimp. Ah. A decent shrimp. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching my video. We're going to step out to the parking lot, and you'll get the uh, final impression. Thank you. All right, guys. So there you have it. The cheapest buffet in Vegas, eight ninety nine. I don't know guys, have you found one cheaper? Let me know in the comments below. And anyway, this is what I think about the buffet. It's not a bad buffet, okay? The food they offer you has to be cheap in order for them to offer you $8.99 a person. Now, what I mean by that is like they stay away from the raw ingredients that cost more money, like fresh beef, salmon, you know, things like that, you know? So they serve you the carbs, the pork, the chicken, mostly, you know, which is okay. You know, it is food and it is cheap and it is $8.99 and it's all you can eat, you know. So, I don't know. Interesting, huh? Well, thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, press like. And uh, if you haven't already and you want more of the same, please subscribe. I thank you very much. Have a good night.